That's all right. So we have just a few tools and toys that we have access to. Nice part about this. All right, a little bit of silk touch, a little bit of that. All right. So yeah, we just started a little bit later than normal, um, which is fine. Um, so, and the reason for that is because I was playing Valheim. So, if you have not seen that, I was actually playing for about, oh, four or so hours or something like that. So, hello everybody. Give me one second. Close out of that. There we go. There we go. And I is back. Alright. Alright. Let's go ahead and wipe out. Oop, that's a poppy. I don't need that there. Alright. Go ahead and grab up some of that. Some of this. Go. Let's see here. I need some slabs. I kind of wish there was a recipe for this, but there's not. Make the composter. Okay. Grab that. Couple chests. One, two, three, four. There we go. That should be more than enough. Just running math in my head, which yeah, sometimes is a good thing, sometimes is a bad thing. All right. Let's go in here. We'll grab that. Got a couple hoppers. Uh, one, two. Go ahead and we will set this up. Da, 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 da. So we'll just go ahead and put that right there and throw in the hopper right there. That way I don't have to stand here and do this because, yeah, I, I don't fancy standing here and doing this. So, voila, done. All right. That's set up the way it's supposed to. Okay. There's a couple other things on this hardcore world that I've got to get going. And let's see. I've got just a a little bit of emeralds, nothing too fancy yet. All right. So I do have melon seeds, I do have pumpkin seeds, so I can make a decent melon pumpkin farm. I just don't have the resources quite yet to facilitate that. Um, let's see here. Do I have, let's see. I think you have glass, you do, good. Let's go ahead and we will max you out. I will need that glass for glass panes specifically. Um, I think down here I've got, let's see here, yep, armor smith, let's see, tool smith, yep, yeah, pickaxe came with silk touch, which is just insane, so I didn't actually have to buy it, which is nice, all right, now, let's see, I need that guy, let's see, what do I want this one, I think I've got the vendors up top set as a... Yeah, I've got the vendors up top set as farmers. So, yeah, both these guys are farmers, right? Where'd they go? Ah, they're there. All right, so we got one potato and then this guy. We also have the the crop farm <clears throat> farmers as well, which is down here. Something a little different from my normal survival world. I actually have a crop farm built already, so they automatically produce... Uh, crops for me, so I don't have to sit there and wait. So uh, that's why I want to create this one. All right, so I need observers. I need... I'm going to create 10 observers. Ew. Um, there's that, there's that, there's a couple. All right, so we've got a little bit of resources to make, make some magic happen. All right. We'll at least make a micro version, so... So that's makes one half of it. I need I need more cobble actually. That's the sad part. All right. Okay. Let's get rid of that. All right. Let's go over. Yeah, I don't actually have a spot where I dig yet. So, it's kind of a thing. Okay. Go ahead and get rid of this. That's junk. It doesn't need to be there. There's that. All right. Hmm. 
should make a area in which, huh? Yeah, I think I should make an area where I actually can mine out some stuff. Okay. So I need some resources. Oh, I did do some enchanting while I was off. So I've actually got four pieces of uh, almost fully enchanted armor. It's kind of stupid. Like Depth Strider for, you know, Depth Strider and stuff like that. So the only thing I'm missing right now is actually the helmet enchant. And honestly, I'm not really too impressed with that. So and efficiency four is pretty good on that. So I'm waiting for that. Um, I do have a few more emeralds. Let's go ahead and buy up a little bit more glass from Friendly here. And that will satisf satisfy a little bit more XP for me. Okay. All right. So I still need pistons. So if I was to make, let's say... Yeah, see, that only makes two, and I need at least four in order to make this work. So, yeah, I need cobblestone. That's that's the thing. I, I need cobblestone. That's, that's, that's so sad. I just don't have any cobblestone. That's, that's really sad. So we're going to go resource grinding first, and then we'll go grab uh, some of the other stuff that I need. Nice part is I'm on a mushroom island, so I don't have to necessarily worry about mobs. Uh, this pickaxe is terrible. All right. Um, it's sad when you have to actually mine for cobblestone. Okay, so that's... All right, so there's technically... Yeah, because there's technically three, which is five. All right. So now... Let's see. So it takes six. Yeah. So technically I could make two more observers with that as well. So let me mine up like maybe a couple stacks worth of cobble. Yeah. yeah a couple stacks worth of cobble. That'll give me, that should give me enough to at least build a micro version of the farm, of the crop farm. And then uh, that'll also give me access to maybe a couple other observers, so that way I can I can at least uh, make a couple other things. Um, I could hmm could make a cobble generator too. That could be a thing. Hmm. Do I have access to lava to do so? Four, five, six. All right. Yep. Yeah, sugar cane we do have set out to the side here. So that's all right. Okay. Okay. Four, five. All right. Down to a little bit of cobblestone, that's not enough. Um, I do need a little bit more redstone, in fact. Hmm. I don't really feel like going into the nether just yet, because, uh, you know, reasons. Um, let's go and grab... Okay. Alright, we should have enough resources to do this. Um... Copper. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Give me a chest. Give me a hopper. There's that. Now, actually, I need a little bit more of a chest. Do we have any other chests made up? Probably not. That was good. Uh, no, we don't. Okay, so yeah, no, I don't, I don't see any other chests. I missed the sort key. All right, uh, so we make, we make one, maybe. Okay. All right. Maybe one more chest. Maybe two. 
Yeah, now we're gonna do a double chest. There we go. Let's do that. Be done with it. All right. Let's go over here. And do right there, right there. Hello. Go there. All right. This will enable me to put that guy right there. All right. Water across the bottom. One. Yeah, because the bottom hop that hopper doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Alright. Yeah, eight should be it. And then it should be. Should be right there. Should be right there, and that should be the start of it. Okay. Okay, there's that. Now, we go to this one. There's that. Now we go this way. There's that. Now we go here. And I don't have enough redstone for this, to be truly honest. So there's that, that, that. Okay. Dirt. Okay. Go ahead. And I don't think I can use mossy for pistons. I don't, at least I don't think I can. Yeah, no, you can't use mossy for that, which is fine, because that actually helps me out a little bit, because now what I can do is I can go back here. I can put mossy back up in here, so I don't need to have that in my way. Okay. Let's go... I need a shovel. I need a shovel. Which I probably don't have enough resources to make said shovel, which is fine. So we will make resources. Oh wait, uh, sticks. There we go. Alright. Shovel. There we go. Much better. Okay, so one, two, three, and then diagonal. So here, okay, and then get all that. All right, so. Bucket. There we go. And now, oh, let me till all this dirt right here. Okay, put that right there, put that right there, put that guy right there, put that one right there. All right. Five, grab this, go here, 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 there, there. Oop, that was good. Just along there, there we go. Alright. So there, that's done. Now I just need to put the pistons in on this side, and I need to have enough redstone dust to actually, you know, do this farm. It requires eight to do it on each side, so I just need to go downstairs and grab some more redstone, which isn't really that hard to get, luckily. Okay. I just need a couple more pistons, though. So, while I'm downstairs mining up for that, I can also mine up for uh, some cobblestone, because I need cobble. Oop, uh, let me go put that back. Yep, I'm going to go put this back, because, yeah, I don't need to hold on to that. There we go. Do, 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 do. Yeah, start a little later than normal, which is fine. Um... It's a hardcore Wednesday, so might as well do that. I don't, I don't think I have a spot that goes down all the way, other than maybe the Skelly Spawner. I mean, that's the only other place that I can think of that goes all the way down. 
That takes a while to get all the way down, though. That's fine. Oop, wrong way. It's this way. Um, it's this way. It's back, back behind here. Go like and right. go this way, maybe. Is it this way or is it the other way? I don't remember which way it is. It's this way. Yep. Yeah, this takes you all the way down. Okay, so there's that guy. Huh. Five bits of redstone, not bad. That's nice having depth. Oh my god. Being able to actually walk through the water and not, you know, be hindered by it. Make getting sponges a whole lot easier. Alright, this is where I think I. Obsidianized a bunch of stuff. Or okay, here we go. I'll soak touch all that gold. Get that up in my belly. I do really need that. All right, there we go. There's some lapis over here. Very nice. I'll graciously accept that lapis ore because that'll help out. Uh, hi, cool, get out of the way. Okay. So I don't want to venture out too far, because if I venture out too far, that might actually inadvertently uh, uh, go out too far, and then I don't want to... Uh, kind of, I don't want to spoil the map, basically, because of the... Uh, Now let's go ahead and we'll mine out this, this, this. Make sure we're not going to find any happy fun sauce underneath this. Because, you know, that's a thing. Got to be a little extra cautious when you're, uh, when you're in hardcore. All right. Let's go ahead and go up, and then I will pillar up from there. Okay, there's that. Now, uh, let's see here. Okay. Okay. And now, can't forget why I was down here in the first place. Cobblestone. Kind of need it. Kind of have to have it. All right. Do I have a bucket on me? I do. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll just pillar down. It's fine. Won't hurt anything to pillar down. Okay. 
grab that bucket. I need some happy fun sauce. There we go. This way I can create cobblestone upstairs and I don't have to come all the way down to get it. Okay. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. Whoop. All right. Let's go ahead and go. Eh. That's fine. This way I can just generate cobblestone upstairs. I don't have to sit here and jack with it. Well, I'm down here. Makes it a little simpler. Okay. Probably grab like a hopper or something, put underneath of it, and then that way it will pick up before the lava has a chance to flow back, I think. I think that's how it works. Or is it? No. Hmm. I'll figure out how to do this. <laughs> I've actually never made a cobble generator before. Three, four, right? Yeah. All right. Let's, let's see. How many more can I make? I can only make three. That's annoying. All right. I'm gonna need to make some more cobble. Cobble. here. Let's go ahead and put the pistons in place. There we go. Put the redstone in place that's required for this guy. Alright. And then we'll put in, let's see here, where'd that glass go that I had? A little bit. There we go. Go over and make the glass panes, thank you very much. You know how to really piss a guy off. Okay, stay out of my friggin' farm, you little jerk. Oof, stupid cows. Really annoying. It's like, oh, I'm just gonna walk up this. No. Right there. Okay. Go right there, go right there, go right there, and go right there. And that'll actually enable me to make the next floor to this really simple. Alright, now. It's a very crude farm, but it works very, very well. Uh, seeds, there we go. Let's see, which ones do I want? Melons or do I want pumpkins? I think... I think right now the ones I would want are actually pumpkins. So let's go ahead and we will plant those. So we'll go ahead and... Yeah, now you see how these things work. Whoop, that was good. Fall down onto the farmland. Alright, so there's ten of those. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to see if I've got bone meal. Of course I have bone meal. Because, you know, skelly spawner. Alright. Go ahead and we will pulse this guy up. Make sure this thing has plenty of juice. All right, now, one single layer of this isn't really going to produce a whole lot. I mean, you're only talking 10 stems. Or you're yeah, you're talking 10 stems, and they only have eight target locations to go to. So it, it's not going to produce, like, phenomenal rates. But it's going to produce enough to where 
I can actually do things. Uh, that is not what I wanted to do. Okay. okay. So this glass actually comes in handy because of what it does. It actually allows you to place... So you see how it goes all the way to the very end of this? And that's that's all the further you need to take it, because the next layer of this farm, if I was to build another layer, it would actually go... It's actually it's not hard. It actually goes right on top of this guy. Yep. So it goes right here, actually. And it gets contained by the actual next area. So the, you actually put your water right on top of this glass pane here. And you don't have to really do anything. It just sits right on top of this. And then the next layer of the farm goes right there. You don't have to mess with it. So prime example. So I go here, put the desk there, right? So there's that. Now, the next portion of this would be um, the observers would go this way, and then, yeah. Really, really simple farm. Not too complicated. Uh, that's dumb. There we go. And I already have a pumpkin. Alright, so pumpkin farm up and running. Now I just gotta get the same version of that, except melon farm. <laughs> Nothing too difficult. Yeah, and I am standing under a solid block, so no phantoms, because they're annoying. Okay, make sure I slept so I don't have to deal with them. All right, give me one second.
All right, there we go. Let's go here, and we'll put that block right there. That'll prevent that will prevent all the mobs from getting up into the farm. That I don't need them up there because that would just be bad. All right. <laughs> all right. Alright. Yeah, quite a few people in here. Not very many viewers, but that's okay. That's that's perfectly fine. I'm happy and content with that. Alright, let's go ahead and pop up that. Go ahead and give me that. Whoop, that was good. Uh, bone block. Block up all that. Yeah, I do have a skelly spawner, so that's why I have a bunch of bone meal. Alright. Yeah, I really don't want to go into the nether until I at least have Feather Falling 4. Just just in case I run into some something dumb. I don't want to deal with a mob that can hit me hit me off and end up, you know, causing me to die because I don't have Feather Falling 4 because that's just obnoxious. All right, the next thing we need to solve is we need to solve this. This is annoying. I can't be bothered to go around and cut all this down. So let's go ahead and turn on the hitboxes so I can actually see where they go. Nice part is, now I have Depstrator so I can at least play fetch if it's in the water. Okay. Oop. Da, 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 da. Yeah. It's kind of nice being day like 16 or so and I had the iron cell up already. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> let's go and... Uh, Let's keep progressing. Let's keep keep moving. Can't uh, can't slow down. Let's go ahead and put all this junk away. All right. Bleh. Get, get out of my inventory. There. All right. So we do have an ability to create a cobble generator if I need it. I don't know if I'm gonna need it or not, but uh, yeah. Uh, he probably reset wherever those emeralds ran off to. There they are. Okay. Go ahead and grab up those. Not enough to get level. That's unfortunately annoying. All right. I'll throw that up in there. Okay. All right. I think he's a master now. Yeah, he's a master. All right, good. That gives me access to name tags. Not like I really need name tags, but it does give me access to those. So that'll help. All right. Go down here. Try to think. What else do I want to get? I think I want to get the. Yeah, I want to get the stone. Well, no, I don't have. I don't have access. Decent access to the stone mason. So let's go grab some of these carts that I've got. Then a couple of them. Go ahead and move the uh, villagers downstairs. Where's that glass block? There it is. Give me that. So instead of the villagers running across a solid block, they'll at least have to be able to run across that. So three, four. Alright. Right. Go ahead and put that there. There it goes. There we go. Just grab these other villagers, send them downstairs until I absolutely need them. All right. I'm trying to think where else I'm going to put these guys, or what else I'm going to use them for. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Let's see here. So I do have some villagers up top that will give me access to that. Okay. Did I forget to... Okay, I didn't forget to do that this time. <laughs> yeah, last time I made this, I actually forgot to put the trapdoors down, and yeah, it was bad. All right. Okay. that and of course I just put the carts away because you know professional there we go no nothing all right hi buddy yep you can go into the cart thank you very much hey buddy you can go into the cart and I'm gonna take you this way Go that way. All right, get this one out of there. That way I don't have villagers just wandering around. All right, go ahead and get rid of this. Get rid of that. Go there. Hello, buddy. Okay, and we will put that guy right there. And he'll accept it before anybody else because he is a librarian. So, there you go. Now we secured that. That's good. Uh, I probably should put a trap door on that. So just so I can let's go ahead and just do that there. Yeah, they can't jump out of this. I can. So yeah, y'all can't jump out of this. You're done. Hey, hey, that's my spot to get in and out. Thank you very much. Y'all can't get out of that. So ha, stupid. <laughs> All right. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and we'll put that right back where it belongs. Put that, 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 that. Flippy of the lever. There we go. Right. I'll go ahead and put this stuff back. All right. Now, we have a very, very crude pumpkin farm, but it works. See, five pumpkins already. I haven't done anything. And of course, we do have the crop farm as well. That's actually the normal size of a crop farm that you're supposed to make. See? Nice. That's what you want to see. Okay. So. So let's see, sugarcane farm. Let's see if I can. Eclis built one. It's very similar to that farm. Okay. I think I still need pistons, which is a problem because I don't have any cobblestone. I've got, I got that many cobblestone, which is bad. All right. So let's change that real quick. Yeah, I do need to cut that down. Let's go ahead and go here. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Six. Yep. All right, no way around it. You gotta cut this down. As much as I don't want to, I gotta cut it down. I seriously need feather falling. Yep, there we go. Yeah, it's very tempting to go and grab uh, another bit of that. Um, I should make some an auto cow farm as well. Or maybe even... Eh, well, that's, that farm's not even very effective until you get to the ceiling. 
before I blow a hole in the ceiling of the nether, I am going to have blast resistance armor, because, yeah, no. Okay. There. Problem solved. Alright. Give me... Planks, darn it. There we go. Chest. Need to make one of you a hopper. Okay. Three. Okay, and then... Make a little bit of cobblestone here. Yeah. <laughs> this is the uh, lazy man's way of going and getting cobblestone, because I really don't feel like going and downstairs and grabbing up a bunch of cobble. So. So we'll just make a cobble generator, because why not? You know what? We're already at 40 bits of cobble <laughs> after making this darn thing. Yeah, the nice part is, is I don't have to go and farm up, you know resources to, to make my uh, pickaxe silk touch it's already that way oops there we go almost a stack of cobble nice there stack of cobble very nice all right now should be able to make up a decent amount of pistons. Let's go redstone dust. There's redstone dust. And I don't think I have any extra redstone dust, which is unfortunately annoying. Other than that, which... Nice. So the next helmet enchantment is Prout 4. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and make the... Uh, let's see, do I want to make... Oh, tempting. Do I want to make the... 
Don't want to make the pumpkin or the melon farm. Let's let's do the melon farm. Let's get that out of the way and, and done and out of the way. I don't have to worry about that one. So I need what eight pistons, I think. So four, five, six. so what am I short on? Iron. That's what I'm short on, which is not a problem because I have an iron cell over here. Can I grab that. I need what three pistons? All right. Let's go ahead and make those three. There's those. Now, the other thing that I need is... That I don't have, and I don't have it, uh, an abundance of it. I don't have any quartz. So what I need to do is I need to go into the nether, which is terrifying. I need to go get some more quartz. All right. Uh, go ahead and grab that. And I will soak touch the quartz and bring it back. I did just enchant this efficiency four and breaking three, which is nice because that will help out with, uh, yeah, lots of things. All right, so let's see. I need three levels. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's go into the nether. We'll go grab some of the quartz and we'll bring it back. Um, this farm's insane. Like how it actually functions is ridiculous. It's what, five stacks worth of potatoes already? Or five stacks worth of carrots already? That's just nuts. It's like not even fair. Five and a half stacks worth of carrots. It's already at four stacks worth of potatoes. It'll probably get up over five stacks. Just because of the, f the villagers throwing stuff at you. Gotta love it. Mm. Okay. Okay, okay. Only four and a half stacks. Here. Oh wait, the carrot potato vendors are actually over here. Oh, even more carrots. Hello. Yep. So this guy's an apprentice. If I trade up with him, I'll be able to get him to upgrade. Very nice. He actually has the melon and the pumpkin trade. Very nice. So that will actually come in handy. Uh, gonna break that. Oop. No. Give me that. Link. All right, over here. Yeah, this one has both uh, carrot and potato trade. Okay. Nice pumpkin and melon trade. Very nice. That's glorious. All right, so we have pumpkin and melon trade on two different vendors. Very nice. That'll help quite a bit, actually. At 28. I need. Hmm. All right. I need just a few more levels. I'm not gonna enchant the helmet for prot four, and that'll give me the best odds about dealing with the mobs that are in the in the uh, <laughs> in the freaking biome over there. All right. Because where I spawn in at is I spawn in in a crimson forest. Not exactly the greatest place to spawn in at. So, and I don't really feel like going in there and having, you know, three or four hoglins come in and just say hi without having full prod armor. Granted, I have been there before, but I really don't want to go there without having prod four and everything. All right, so let's go grab a little bit of iron. That should put me over the top for... Uh, 
should only need yeah, I should only need a stack well no I don't need two or is it two and a half I think it's two and a half stacks yeah it's it's two and a half stacks I better remember yeah because there's that there's 16 and then there's the rest and that's 30 right there all right so now let's enchant the helmet and get that fully enchanted. Yeah, I did a little enchanting off, 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 uh, off stream. So, and we'll grab that lapis as well. There we go. I'll throw that guy up in there, and we'll throw that guy and that guy up in there. Prot four, and the only thing I got was prot four. Lame. All right. Whatever. That's fine. Um, I will live with prot four. That's fine. I can I can suffer with just having Broad Four in the helmet for right now. Sword enchant, unbreaking three, lame. All right. All right. Okay, so like I said, you spawn in a crimson forest, so it's not exactly the greatest place to spawn, but yeah, like I said, hoglands. <laughs> Yeah, they're not exactly the nicest things, and I really don't want to freaking go over that way. Okay, we'll go up here. Right over here. Alright. Should go after some netherite here soon. Once I start getting my stuff geared out and kitted out. If I can, okay. Grab a little bit more of this quartzy goodness. Okay. You almost have half a stack of quartz ore, which is nice, because that equates out to quite a bit of quartz, so. Maybe we should get another, ooh, that's tempting. Get another uh, fortune pick off the vendor. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Do I have an anvil? I don't think I do. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't have an anvil. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and make an anvil real quick. Get that, get that done. Um, two, three... Yeah, let's go ahead and make that anvil, get that done, and that will give me access to um, smithing stuff together. Okay, and then we'll go over here to the toolsmith. You're not the toolsmith, you're not the toolsmith. Oh, I walked right past him. Fortune, there we go. Okay. That'll give me at least access to Fortune 3. Not the best, but it, it's Fortune 3 nonetheless. Okay. Where it doesn't feel like I'm wasting... So 14 that way, 12 that way. I think I'm going to do it this way. Alright. Fortune 3 be Fortune 3, man. Doesn't matter which way it is. So let's see, that was 29 pieces. That's over a stack of quartz. That's very nice. Alright, now... I have access to that. Oh, let's just turn that back. There we go. All right, now let's see here. Observers.
There's six. I need just a few more of those. Let's go ahead and sleep in here and then wake up so I don't waste time. It's nice part about having a cobble generator. All right, so there's that. That gives me access to those. All right, uh, planks, dirt. All right, there we go. Um, me that. There we go. Make up that. Grab up some hopper action. All right. Da, 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 da. A little, uh, little Minecraft hardcore. You know? who, who, who doesn't enjoy a little Minecraft hardcore? Okay. Oop, that's not where that goes. That's where that goes. Okay. Dirt. Right. Where'd that shovel go, actually? Uh, there it is. Access to a bucket of water, wherever it may be, hiding. There we go. There's that guy. All right, and then I'll be right back. <laughs>
All right, I'm back. Oh, wait. Duh. Huh. I only make eight of these things. I'm dumb. I need two more. Uh, let's see here. Uh, cobble. Stone. Oh, duh. Don't have any cobble. All right. Yeah, I only made eight observers. Yeah, I need uh, ten of those. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and that should be twelve. Yep. All right, there we go. Duh, forgot. Need twelve. There we go. Go ahead and I'll make the last two observers that I need. Yep, that's a stem. Thank you. Okay, go there, go there, go here, go there, 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 all right, now we go here, 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 there, there, and voila, and we grab a little bit of dust, yep, nope, miss, there we go, okay, and we go planks, go there, 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 Yep, and we go ahead and we put stuff on top of this, so that way stinking mobs can't jump up. Uh, give me that. Okay, there we go. And now we just grab the pistons and we put them right here in the face of that. There we go. And then now all I gotta do is till that dirt and put melons there. And it'll be melon f the melon farm. Done. Uh, where did I put the... Nope. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, whoop, hang on, before I forget, I need the hoe to do that. Uh, there's that. Now I also would want some bone meal. Did I just make bone meal, not quartz block? Damn you. God, that is annoying. It's like, seriously, make the right damn block. Okay. All right, just waiting on a seed now, or a uh, <laughs> a melon.
All right. So that's basic melon, basic pumpkin farm done. No, uh, no questions at all about that being done now. Do a basic, basic sugarcane farm. It's basically the same thing. The only difference is, is uh, <coughs> the only main difference is, is it's sugarcane. So the nice part about the sugarcane farm using this similar method is that instead of you using an observer every other block, you just flip all the observers out for a, uh, <coughs> except for the one at the very end, you flip all them out for a, uh, uh, a piston. So similar model, just just exchange all these guys out for uh, pistons, and the observer will tick every single one of them. You could actually double it over and do both sides. So, like you could have the observer like right in the middle, and you could flip the observer or the pistons over and have it go shoot both ways, <clears throat> which is one way to do the farm, another farm. So farm a little bit more cobble while I uh, munch on a little bit of food, so. Hmm. So let's see here. Um... Here we put that there. That should prevent me from pickaxing through it before. Nope. About the only thing that would prevent me from pickaxing through it would probably be a chunk of obsidian. And I don't feel like making one of those at the moment. Or fetching one of those. So in order to make the pistons that I need for that, let's see, it's eight, yeah, this would be eight times two, <coughs> yeah, so 16, so 16 times four, which is basically a stack of cobble, so I need about a stack of cobblestone, and I should be able to do a sugar, a base sugarcane farm as well, so it's fairly simple, it'll go right next to all that. And that'll be very simplistic <clears throat> crop farms that'll give you a decent amount of resources for return for the amount of resources you put into it. The only thing I don't know if, if I have enough of is redstone dust. I don't think I have enough redstone dust to do this. Which is fine. I mean, you're talking, what, day 36 and I have a decent... I already have a decent crop farm. I have a single cell iron farm and then now I'm making you know, pumpkin and melon farms that are you know somewhat in game these are you know again only a single layer and you could definitely make them a lot larger than what they are yeah. well there's a stack of those now it should give me 16 pistons in total if I have enough iron and redstone I do not have enough redstone that is only eight bits that is very sad Okay, so I need to go down and I need to farm up redstone. All right, that's a thing. But while I do that, I think I'm going to set up half of the farm and then I'm going to set up the other half. It converted back to dirt, didn't it? Yeah, I think it converted back to dirt. All right. Yeah, so let's make half of those. Okay, so there's eight of those. Well, even so, I still need I still need the other you know the bits of the farm to to finish up. Okay, so. Instead of having the system like this, you what you would do is, so instead of it down here, you'd actually have it up here. And you just lace your line all the way down on one side. 
and then you have the observer here with the dust on top. And then, um, so let's see here. So it would be like, yeah. Okay, so instead of this one, you actually have a two block gap. So, so right here is where the pistons would go. Okay. Observer is, is a thing which I don't think I can make because I don't have the redstone for it. All right, let's uh, let's forego that one and we'll just go down and go get some redstone. Darn it! All right, because we kind of need that in order to progress. <laughs> All right. Yeah, plan on streaming for at least a couple more hours. A little bit more, uh, more time put in. Yeah, just different, different hardcore world um, than the original. Just the, the original was super laggy, like super duper duper laggy, just because of the spawn. Even my other world, my other single player world, was really laggy. So this one's a little bit better because the spawn is not in motion. Uh, wrong way. I need to go this way. That be around up and over. Go off the side. That's funny. Didn't even realize the thing was attacking it. That's, that's quite humorous. All right. Oh, there's a geode here. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm not here for you. I'm actually here for this stuff right here. Dig into the wall a little bit. Maybe we'll find some more. Found some more deep slate. I don't need deep slate. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to be mining up some deep slate then. All right. Okay. Hole there, not bad. Big coal vein, nice. Yeah, deep slate coal is actually pretty common. Um, now, deep slate copper, that is really rare in this current iteration of the game. Now, later on, not so much, but in the current 1.17 world of the game, yeah, deep slate copper is insane because like the uh, the amount of it that spawns low in the world is not very much. Even deep slate emeralds aren't nearly as you know the deep slate emeralds are equivocally you know rare, but they're not like as rare as a freaking deep slate copper. I've gotten more deep slate uh, emerald out of an area than I have deep slate copper. 
just to give you an idea. That's just, it's insane. <coughs> All right. Ah, redstone. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah, no. Sacrilege. I'm mining up deep slate redstone. 45. It's not... It's not encouraging. Okay. Let's switch over to something that's a little bit more effective going through granite. Oh my god, seriously. You go through a little bit and then you find some more and it's like, dang it. It's like I'm trying to get away from this stuff. Trying to get away from this stuff so that I can actually mine up stuff. It's fine. need to make like you know comparators and repeaters and all that other fun stuff so just having some stone around won't be too much of a problem and I've got the cobble generator upstairs so I don't really need to worry about that fields all right let's go back up I have not found too many bits of redstone but I think I have enough redstone on me Cluster, hello, cluster, and then there's that, and now let's see, not bad, 48. That equates out to be a little bit of uh, of uh, of uh, what you call it, glass, uh, tinted glass. So, and tinted glass is actually really useful because you can put it around your mob farms and it doesn't allow light to penetrate through. So it's very, very similar to a uh, modded dark glass. So if you ever play stone block, uh, the stone block's got, um, stone block has, um, has a uh, dark glass. Dark glass is pretty much the same thing. It, it prevents light from going through, but it allows you to activate a mob farm, which is really helpful. So, go up here, and it's probably nighttime. No, it's daytime. Oh, that's amazing. Alright. Do 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 do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just as you hit tab because you're playing Valheim, uh, Valheim for, uh, or, or Valheim for, uh, uh, you know, almost four hours. You hit tab and you're like, oh yeah, that doesn't open up your uh, character's inventory. Duh. <laughs> Be the E key. Alright. So I just need, what, two observers and then pistons? Yeah. It's provided I have any freaking quartz left, because, you know, of course, I had to make an entire block of goddamn quartz. 14 blocks worth. Oof. It's annoying. And there's no like crusher or anything in this game to, to flip it back over. Or even to uncraft it. Alright. Nice part is a haste two or uh, efficiency two pick is enough to go right through solid nether rack. Grab that, grab that. Okay, 
Yeah, buzz off. Yeah, good luck damaging me, Bucko. About the only thing that's going to hurt me is if you launch me off an edge. The fire's down here. All right. Let's look, touch up some more of this quartz ore. There's some more right up there if I want to go after it. Okay, let's see, what level am I at? 78. Okay, looks like there's a little bit more quartz up here. Up on the ceiling. Yeah, not dangerous, not at all. Yeah. Yeah, and unless a ghast can see you and starts shooting at you prior to you pillaring up like this, they can't actually kill you. So. So touch those, and then we'll go back down. Okay, we'll go back down. We'll grab up that. We'll grab up that guy. All right. Mm -hmm. we'll grab up a little bit more of this nether gold ore. Nether gold ore is nice because if you hit it with fortune, you have a chance of getting more, but doesn't guarantee it. Okay, so that's not where I want to go. Um, it's not what I wanted to use, but okay. Okay, so let's see here. Make sure we're not going to get attacked by something. Yeah, we're in the nether wastes, so ghasts can spawn. <laughs> yeah, you tricky little devil. All right. There's quartz here. Yeah. Never mind up what you're standing on. Okay. Bad. Hello. Alright. Not bad. Give me that. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't like being on that edge. <laughs> that's, that's not something I enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy being on the edge of that? No. Is the answer to that. E going down. Looks like a warped forest over there, which is nice. Okay, that's a pigman. All right, let's see what level am I at? 68. Trying to find the ravine where my portal is. Exactly the easiest thing to find in the world.
I will find it. Might take me a minute, but I will find it. <laughs> okay, that's lava. Let's not go down that way. Okay. Could have swore it was in the nether wastes. Plug that hole, thank you very much. Okay, hmm. This is what happens when you get lost in the nether. <laughs> Alright. At least nothing gets mad at you for, you know, looking at it. In here, aside from maybe an Enderman, which is fine because I've got full Prod 4 armor, so they can't, Enderman, not that they can't kill me, but it would be difficult for the Enderman to kill me. Okay. That's a big quartz field, Jesus. Grab up all this nether quartz. Because that is really valuable. Okay. Do, 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 do. There we go. Almost two stacks worth of nether quartz are. <coughs> huh. When I do find the way out of here. I feel like I'm lower than I should be. Piss off, buddy. Hmm. Okay. Huh. has a ravine, but is it the right ravine? Probably not. Okay. No, this goes somewhere else. Okay, no. Hmm. That's why you don't lose your place. It's just, it's just bad. <laughs> yeah, because good luck finding your way back. Especially with this terrain. Okay. With the warped forest done. Yeah, that's right. Warped forest, there we go. Because why not? Alright, now, let's see here.
was bull. Ha! Gotcha, you jerk. You got returned to Sunder, at least. Not gonna just return home, that's, that's the question. Okay. That's the thing is, I know it's in the Crimson Forest. That's that's the problem. I know it's in there. I just don't know where it is in there. Okay. Hmm. And you don't want to take a too much of a leap off of anything because if you do you end up you could end up falling down a one wide chute and that would totally suck okay all right well there's the bastion okay Okay, so I know hmm. There you are. Whoop. Hi, can I get my weapon? Thank you. Screw you. Smoke you, you pricks. Die. Dirt bags. <laughs> yeah, that was what six of them little pricks. I'm so glad I have this armor. I'm glad I was paying attention to them. It's like, all right, I can use some logic to figure out where I'm at because the other portal isn't very far away. All right, there we go. I found my way back. <laughs> we'll just do that. <laughs> just so I don't have to play hunt and find the portal again, because that was just not much fun. <laughs> All right. I did come back with a lot of quartz, though, so that's, that's a good thing. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get rid of all this junk that's in my inventory. Now, this is going to take a minute. <laughs> but, yeah, this should give me enough quartz to do what I need to do. Nice part is, is this pickaxe, there's only, what, like 36 emeralds or some stupidness? Nothing, basically. Okay, I'm going to collect all this up. Almost done with this full stack. Couple more. There we go. And voila. There we go. Nice. Alright. Now let's not make a bunch of freaking 
stupid crap with this. Alright, observers. I need what? Two? No. Yeah, I just I just need two. Alright. Let's go ahead and put all this away. Need that. There's that. Uh dirt. Alright. Some something on the back of that. Wait. Yeah, because the next one should go here. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, get rid of all that. Now I'm going to plant that on top. Get rid of, get rid of all that. Alright, there. That gets rid of all that junk. Now what we do is we go here and we put an observer going this way and this way. Go there, go there. Now we just grab a signal out of that guy. And go up here, go there, grab a signal out of that guy as well. And we just pull that signal all the way down. Okay. And now, grab pistons. Put pistons up. Actually, pistons should be right here. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. You are one block. Too far. That is not where you belong. There we go. Okay. Because it has to go on the back side of this. There's that. Now we go here. We grab that. Go there. Go here. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. has to go one block back. Forgot. I almost forgot. It's got to go back here. Goes there. Nice, super simple <clears throat> sugarcane farm. Here 
go. Do, do, do. All right, there's that. Now go up here. There's that. Now. Okay, that's all that's done. All right, I'm grab up uh, eight more pistons. Is what I need. Uh, where did I put the iron? There's the iron. Two, three, four, five. That's only five. I need three more. Okay. Three, four. That's one. So I need what? That's what? Three? Oh, that's two. One more. That creates three pistons, which is what I need to make for the rest of this. So grab that. Boom, done. All right. There we go. And now all I got to do is add in water across here, and it'll go all the way down. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's that. There's that. There's that. Thirty-one pumpkins, a little bit of melons, not bad. Alright, this is just so I can get passive resources. Hmm. That's annoying. I don't know, actually have enough wood planks to actually make enough uh, enough of the... Uh, I don't have enough to make a double chest. That's funny. Alright. Let's go ahead and dice this down. This will be the last time that I do this. So we will shave all this down. We'll get rid of all the seed sugar cane. We'll load up the bin here. This junk. Okay. So this gives me what sixteen nodes for uh, growth, which gives me what thirty-two every single time it harvests, technically. Or no, no, it gives me only uh, sixteen every time it harvests, which is fine. All right. Okay. Need the water bucket, which is right there. Go put that guy right there. There we go. Now, what you do in the middle is put that glass up in there, glass panes, because then that way it doesn't go across, so you just go here and you put this guy right there, and technically, whoop. yeah, see that's eight, so what you'd do is you'd, you'd forgo this one, leave that out, and then that way you could have access to that, so... Pull enough of the uh, corner blocks here. Because I don't think it really matters for sugarcane so much. Um, it's fine. So we'll grab, uh, we'll grab some of this. Fill in these corners right here with that, and that should prevent the mycelium from growing in. Alright, there we go. 
That'll also give me access to the double chest that I need. Alright. Right there. There. Perfect. Alright. There's the sugar cane. Pumpkins. And then we got melon slices over here. So. Oh, crap. Uh, that goes there. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, that one hasn't grown yet. Because, uh, yeah. Uh, I forgot about that one. Whoops. Yeah, that would have been bad, because that's actually pretty detrimental. Alright, so we have a sugarcane farm, we have a pumpkin farm, and we have a melon farm. Be it not very pretty, or not, you know, not very productive, but we do have them. So, and they're all kind of over in this area where all of our crop farms are. Or all of our base farms are. So now that we have access to all that, and we also have carrot and potato farm rolling in. Look at all this. That's insane. It's an insane amount of resources, just right off the get-go. So. Alright. So, yep, day 38 already. So not bad. Work on it. Okay. Okay. Nice. Got a couple more villagers up in there. All right. Now, I'm trying to think. What's the next? Uh, what's the next kind of base farm that you would need? So I've got iron villager breeders. Um. Obviously, more of these baseline farms wouldn't be too bad. Uh, and it has not produced that many. That's just what I cut down over here. <laughs> this one's not doing too bad. Do I have any spare crafting benches? I should. I don't have any spare. Bear crafting benches, that's impressive. Alright, um. I may or may not have forgot to grab the seeds off of that. <laughs> or the, uh, uh, the saplings. All right, well, I think that will be actually it for my streaming for today. So everybody have a great and wonderful evening or morning uh, or uh, day, as it were, depending on which time, what time of day you're actually watching this. So uh, 